Aloha, this is video tutorial by Hejin Jung and Jack Taylor from Brigham Young University, Hawaii. Um, this video is to help you understand better about the original article, Full Charting Made Simple by Mark W. Lemon from Journal of Accountancy, October 2000. In this video, we are going to teach you mainly about how to make full chart and how to divide the functions on full chart and how to shrink full chart to fit into one page and how to hyperlink to to different document in Excel or to full chart and how to compute symbol description and this can be called as concatenate but we'll just use this this equation right here um, so, we'll start the tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome to Flowcharting Made Simple. I am Zach Taylor and I will be taking you through the first part of the basics of flowcharting. Flowcharting is basically a graphical representation that is used to communicate plans. The first part in flowcharting is first you go up to the insert ribbon click on insert and you go down to shapes when you click on shapes you'll see a variety of different shapes that you can choose from and you can click on any one of these that you want to put into your into your spreadsheet in order to create your flowchart so you basically you just click and you drag and you can adjust the size of your shape you can also adjust the color and you go up and you select the various shapes that you want to put into your into your flowchart and you just play around with these and these handles right here are what you use in order to size and adjust and do various options with the flowcharts so now we have a few basics a few basic symbols that we can that we can work with Once we have our basic symbols drawn, we come back up to the insert ribbon, you go to shapes, and you go down to your lines, and you can pick the lines that you want to use in order to connect your shapes. You simply click and drag the arrow until you see the red handle appears. The little, these little red handles right here let you know that the line is locked on to the symbol and in a moment I will show you the significance of why you want these lines to be locked on so let's go we'll create one more arrow wait until the red handle appears and now when you have these arrows that have locked on you can take one of these shapes and you can move it and the line will automatically adjust uh, to where you move the symbol. Now with these symbols you can also type into them simply by clicking on the shape and typing in whatever it is that you want to type. Okay now that we have a few areas that we have to type just in case the symbols are not big enough to contain all the information that you want to include within these symbols you can come up to again the insert ribbon you go to shapes and you come down to what we call a callout box you click on these callout boxes and you click and drag and you can type and more fully describe whatever you want to as far as these symbols for example for this advertising box you could uh, list some of the some of the places that it includes in the advertising and then you take this yellow handle and you click and you move it to the symbol that you want it referencing but also you have to remember with these with these annotated symbols that when you adjust and when you move the shapes that it does not automatically adjust with it you have to click and drag uh, 
the callout box by itself. Another helpful tool to use in Excel is moving multiple objects at the same time. You can do that one of two ways. The first way you do it is you click on each shape while holding down the shift key. Then once you do that, you can click and you can drag all of the objects together. The other way you do that is by going up to the page layout ribbon and you click on, you come over here to the right hand side and you click group. When you group it, it acts as though all of these are one big object and then you can click and drag as if it were one big symbol. Along with the grouping, just in case you needed to reformat or change one of these symbols, you go back up to the page layout ribbon and you can come over to the same place and you can click ungroup in case you need to do change some of the specific symbols. Another important part of flowcharting is the use of segregating duties and using divider lines in order to note that. So in order to enter a divider line, for example, in order to segregate duties between financing and accounting departments, you can come up here and you right click on one of these columns, you come down to format sales, and then you come up to these tabs above and you click border, and you go down to enter a, either a right or left hand border to enter a divider line. And now you can see this divider line shows that there's a separation of duties between these two apartments, and you can implement that across the various symbols. All right, uh, this is Ha Jin Jung, and I'm going to take up the last part of flow charting made simple. Um, when you are making this flow chart, you realize that it's really big that you cannot print it on one page, but there is this method that you can use to print in one page. So how to do that is you go to page layout ribbon and when you go to page setup, there is a page setup dialog box. You click on it and click the fit to one page radio box. Full chart can contain hyperlink and how to do that is click on full chart box and go to insert ribbon and click on hyperlink and go to place in this document and shoot to and you can put screen tip that hyperlink to shade to and click OK and also OK and when you go down here then it says a screen tip saying hyperlink to shoot to all right, um, not only information in full chart can hyperlink to another data source, but also it can, the linked, linked full chart data can be changed as you change the information. Um, on the upper part here, this is on column A, there, these are the name of the executives on one company, and these are their title position and on label here you can put their name and their position together so how to do that is you click on the link and put you want their name and and click and up, press enter, then there is it. So their name and their position right there. So you can do the same thing over and over again. And there is this one cool thing that, okay, let's say that I'm the president of the company and I change my name there. And it 
change it to um, they change automatically. So and this uh, this is their company position full chart. So in this part you want to put president's name and their title. So just click on it and go to this formula bar and put equals and click on it and press enter. And that's it. So as I told you before that when you change your um, information then the hyperlink data changes it accordingly and so it's hyperlink and label here and also in full chart. So let's see I changed the president's name as Jack Taylor. And it changed automatically on label and also on full chart. So this is it about full charting made it simple. Thank you.